here the review video obviously we're just going to talk about how the armor looks how it shaders my personal thoughts and quite frankly it's pretty bad uh, i pretty much trash all of the armor titans hunters warlocks no one is free from the smoke uh, for the shader video, it's a typical video that you expect. It's just me showing showcasing my favorite shaders just because if I do all of them, I legitimately fall asleep sometimes because I have that much shaders. And then I also did the Hunter video already, which is right here. Definitely cool sets. I definitely would recommend you guys to check it out if you're a Hunter main or if you just want to check out some fashion because, again, I do think some of the fashion in that... I think there's only one bad one in that one, in the last one, which is the... Uh, the, the new exotic that that we got other than that the other three are actually really really cool with one of them i'm like i, I would actually use that and it, i would actually use a piece or like a piece that i fucking hate which are the boots so yeah definitely recommend those as well so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed which is funny considering my videos are doing a lot better now so hit the bell notification like comment subscribe it really all does help and remember i do a lot of fashion it's not just armor set reviews and uh like piece i don't know how to call these but they're like individual piece videos of armor sets but it's also exotic videos which again i'm going to be posting it i probably have already been posting exotic videos but we're, we'll be doing the new exotic videos or the new ex, yeah new exotics that we that, that ugh, the new exotics that just came out this season uh we're gonna be doing those uh any ornaments that come out usually have their own separate video but because the new exotics got those that's why they're in those videos and there's just a bunch of stuff that i do not only the fact that i've been wanting to branch out to other games as well considering that the new descendant uh or, the new descendant whatever the new game is the korean one i'm gonna be playing that i probably won't be talking about the fashion because the fashion is quite expensive in that game and kind of dumb but that's also going to be coming in this channel and the campaign will most likely be split between my main channel and my second channel so i apologize that this took a while to get to the main portion which is the fashion but this is just to let people know so and this is also why I have timestamps. So that way, if you don't want to hear me talk, you can just go to the timestamps. Don't don't if you don't like this, don't want, don't hear it. Just go to the timestamp. That's pretty it. That's the most simplest thing you could do. So, yeah, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the momentous potential for the hazardous propulsion or exotic that we just got. And I'm going to be honest with you. Momentous potential is fucking amazing i love this ornament i probably will end up buying this ornament just because it looks really really cool but we're gonna be using the siege breaker helm for this one and i'm gonna be honest with you guys this one is not good uh i think the the look that i made for it for the exotic video is way better way way better just because each of the pieces looks way better and looks like it actually fits with the chest piece that being said does this look terrible i don't think it looks that bad it's just there's some pieces where i'm like i would have switched this out for something else specifically omnicronia shouldn't be the shader because there is no piece here that is really that terrible to shader i mean the boots do shader really weirdly but it's mostly just the off colors that the bottom have and the main color for the top so it's like I can see why I chose Omnicronia, but that was a lazy choice on my part. But Braytech Thermal Grips is what we're using for the arms, boots, mechan me mechanized protector greaves, and then for the Mark Bulletsmith's Iron Mark. So, yeah, I think the male titans look a little bit better for this one just because the chest piece is so bulky that it bolt like it fits well with the helmet compared to the females where it, the neck. I don't want to see the neck. Is what kind of irks me about this set specifically the for the females um i do think the braytech thermal grips is a good choice mechanized protector greaves i think is a bad choice just because that is definitely more gundam themed compared to the chest well the chest piece definitely is gundam themed as well but i'm more talking about the braytech thermal grips i think that's not that's not gundam at all definitely not at all but I definitely think the chest piece and the arms look way better together than the chest piece and the boots is what I'm trying to say. Especially with the mark. I think the mark is also not a good choice. So overall, I would probably just switch the boots and the mark out for something else. If I don't want to go for the Gundam look, but if I want to go for the Gundam look, I would switch out the arms immediately and the mark. I think the boots are decent enough for the Gundam mark, but either way, let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Siege Breaker Gauntlet, and honestly... 
I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know what the fuck my head was thinking. To be fair, I do end up using two pieces where I was like, I do not give two slight shits about these two pieces. I think the arms is the worst. And I want to, I want, I really want you to see my eyes when I say this. It is the worst piece from all of the classes aside from maybe the warlock's chest piece maybe i think the arms are fucking terrible i do not like them i think the shoulder pads absolutely terrible the shoulder aren't like the uh forearms i think are pretty cool i think the main thing is it just feels like there's two iron pieces just floating in place and i think that's my biggest gripe about it it's the fact that like shoulder pads just look stupid and i feel like it was wasted potential because we could have had something really cool here um, Virtuous Plate with the Hardened Basilisk Helm is a combo that I like because when you look at it from the back, it kind of looks like it attaches attaches together, which is, I think is cool. Uh, the hip, wa hip Waiter Ornament for the Dune Marchers was a choice that I made just because I wanted a little bit more glow in there, even though you can't even see the glow half the time. And then see Breaker, breaker Mark. So honestly, oh, Shader is continuing Malloy just because I like the Shader. To be honest, this is the weakest set from this whole set. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The other two are really, really cool. Specifically one, I'm like, I love the vision that I had for this one. But for for this one specifically, I was just like, bro, I don't even know what I want to do with the arms. The mark is pretty terrible. I tried to combine some of the shaders that I have with that yellow or orange shader for the mark. And I just kind of gave up halfway and I was like, fuck it. I'll just use Continuum Outlaw. Honestly, this is probably the worst set that I've made. And I'm not even apologetic because the, the arms are so terrible and the mark, the fact that it doesn't change color. I'm just like, honestly, I'm not that broken up about it. It's the same thing with the hunter uh, cloak and chest piece. I'm not that broken up about it because, again, it's just all around terrible. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, the Siegebreaker plate for the chest piece man let me tell you i love and hate this chest piece for the exotic we're going to be using doomfang pauldrons with the lordly homage ornament i love this ornament it's one of my favorites and the reason i hate this chest piece is and for those of you who have been watching my content for a while you guys probably will guess what it is but i am not the biggest fan of titan chest pieces that don't cover the back of your neck i don't think a titan looks good if they're uh if their back of their neck is not covered i think like for me to be like yo that's a titan the back of the neck has to be covered and you have to look bulky like for me that's a titan that is a thousand percent what a titan looks like and the siege breaker plate if if it if it covered the back of the neck just a little bit more i think this would have been one of the best chess pieces in the game not even like just from the ornaments but in the game it would have been amazing um now the funny thing is you could have done pretty much anything you wanted but for me you could also do a uh, a dead space like cosplay type thing because the siege breaker plate with the dark age helm would go really hard together for a dead space look but i didn't want to do that i kind of wanted to just do my own thing for this one and Dark Age Helm is what reason for the helmet. For the boots, Braytech Snow Boots with the Tekken's Regalia Mark combo is something I like to do just because the uh, crotch plate looks really, really cool with the Braytech Snow Boots. And I mentioned this before in different videos. But Vanguard Steel is what we're using because I wanted to have some blue in there and some orange because obviously the Lordly Homage horns have that orange in there. So, yeah, I, I generally do like this set. It's not the best, granted. I don't think it's the best, but it is cool. But again, my only gripe is the fact that, like, I just feel like the back of, like, not the back of the neck, not like like one to one back of the neck. But for example, like Virtua Set, the one we were just looking at, that back is bulky, bro. And that's what I'm talking about more than anything else is like, I want the Titan's chest piece to have a lot of coverage in the back because that for me that's what a titan looks like bulky and just like a wall when we have chest pieces like this where it's just like very thin in the back and i can see like the whole titan's back of their neck and not even just back but like even goes down to their shoulders and shit i'm just like that doesn't feel like a titan like you almost look like a hunter almost so yeah definitely a stupid reason to not like a piece but i also think it's a valid one because there is definitely like a language when it comes to the armor and this just doesn't feel like titan language to me i guess let me know what you guys think and then last but not least i have this amalgamation and honestly 
I can't even put into words as to why I love. I can actually. It's the fact that I kind of look like a Russian overlord. Like, a good example was uh, this. Like for me, when I saw this, I was like, man, this. I could see this being like fucking Saint Fourteen's brother or some shit. Cause like, the chest piece gives me that Russian vibe. The helmet also gives me not a Russian vibe, but like it's in the same ge general area of that shit. And then um, the the arms give off that vibe as well. The mark also helps a little bit, but the chest, the boots also just gives me more of that like industrial military vibe where it's like like legitimately looks like like a not a commando. What what am I thinking of? Like not a soldier either, but like a sergeant. Like a, like it's so hard to explain. I, I apologize that I'm being stupid right now, but when I saw this, I just immediately heard just fucking Russian music hearing bears fighting in the background like it made me just think like man this is like saint 14's brother right here for the shaders it's gonna be different here gambit jade stone for the helmet because the helmet takes off colors heavily so to counteract that J gambit jade stone is what i ended up using for the other stuff we're using iron for, for shite for sight i don't know how to say that i love this shader unfortunately i wish there was a little bit more of that brown on the boots that would have been a little bit better or on the mark but i do love this set i think this is the best set just because again and i know i know people are going to be like that's a cop out because you're giving it a story but at the same time i don't care because like when i saw this set when i made this set i immediately thought dog this is one russian ass fuck not and it might not even be russian in my in my head it might be russian but for you it might be like no it's not russian it's more like this let me know in the comments below what what you think it is because for me it it speaks more like russian type thing where like i can definitely see this fucker drinking like what is it uh vodka and shit but yeah i definitely think this is my favorite just because of how ludicrous it is like and just stupid in my head like the head cannon for this one is like yeah this this is what saint 14's brother would look like if saint 14 or sister uh if he had a sibling so yeah let me know what you guys think i definitely think the the titan last one is the coolest one just because again you just can't unsee it bro i think if you really wanted to like wow me you could also switch the helmet out and the exotic out for something else specifically you could end up switching the helmet for the cadmus ridge lance cap i think that would have been a good choice with the ornament or not i think that would have been like with the ornament it would have been cool without even better because that's definitely more of a uh more of a russian look in my opinion that being said i didn't use uh cadmus ridge landscap because i've used it in another video and i use the same exotic so i didn't want to overlap with that one again which is why i used fenrir's bane helm i actually didn't even mention this the valkyrian plate for the chest piece and the katoria mark for the mark i didn't even mention the the pieces unfortunately valkyrian plate um i think oh god i think season of the worthy armor did get sold already so if you missed out on this one i do apologize but it's probably going to become unavailable for quite a while i don't know when they're going to start reselling some of the seasonal ornaments but yeah i definitely really really like this set let me know what you guys think so yeah i appreciate y'all coming to this point if you guys didn't see my hunter video i'll explain a little bit of what i've been working on but personally i'm working on some videos for the channel specifically like the exotic videos the armor videos and i'm also going to be working on the first or the first descendant uh videos that i'm currently thinking about making uh it's going to be a review and I, like a full-blown like we're going to be looking at gameplay the fashion because obviously i'm a fashion channel um and just overall like comparisons to the game because i've seen a little bit of it and i already thought like wow this is warframe just korean and then uh, my overall thoughts about the game, which is probably not going to be good. And the micro transactions as well. Um, and the campaign will most likely be posting on both my main channel and my second channel. Because if you guys don't know, I do have a second channel. That one's mostly just me playing other games and just strictly like a let's play channel. And then um, after that, we'll see. I don't know if I'll like it or not, considering every Korean game that I've touched, I've immediately put down because... The grind is just a little bit too much for me, um, specifically because I already have a main main game that I play, which is Destiny 2. I don't need another game that has more grind and more terrible systems. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.